Hi, my name is Ella, and I'm interviewing Joanne Skoken. Thank you for joining me today, Joanne. Ella, thank you for asking. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. So first, can you tell me a little bit about your childhood? Well, I was born on Nantucket. I have, my mother and father were both born on Nantucket. I have two older sisters, two younger sisters, and a younger brother. We grew up downtown, or in town. We called it the outskirts of town, but now it's considered town. Um, I went to Academy Hill from kindergarten until fifth grade. So I was in the first public kindergarten class um, that the state had. And beautiful Sandy Oliver was my kindergarten teacher. Um, we spent a lot of time playing downtown. That was our playground. We hung out on Main Street. We hung out at the beaches, jetties. We went to Children's. We went to Brand Point. We spent a lot of, there were lots of kids in my neighborhood. Um, I lived near North Liberty in Westchester, near the oldest house, near the cemeteries on New Lane, and there were lots of kids, and we spent a lot of time just roaming the neighborhood. We all walked to school together in the morning. We all walked home for lunch, and then back to school in the afternoon. <laughs> um, so it was a great place to grow up, downtown. So I know your parents owned a old restaurant. Um, what was that like as a kid? Well, my parents owned what is now American Seasons, but in my lifetime it was the North Shore. My aunt Esther owned the North Shore before my father did, but he bought it maybe in the late 60s. And all five of us daughters worked in the restaurant um, through middle school, through high school, and into college. Most of us worked in the kitchen, but we worked every day with my mother and father. And it was fun. It was hard work. Couldn't call in sick. You had to show up. When we were young, we did things like sweep the sidewalk, clean the dining room, wipe the windowsills every day. As we got older, we did dishes, we made salads, we tended bar when we got to be 18. That was a big deal. We moved into the dining room, but it was a lot of fun. As I got older and, and I was almost done college and two of my sisters were already out of college, um, my parents sold the restaurant. I think mostly because their workforce was <laughs> growing up and moving on. What college did you go to, and how was that transition for you? I went to Regis College, which is a small college outside of Boston. And when I went, it was all girls, uh, all women. Um, now it's co-ed, which initially kind of tugged at my heartstrings that it changed, but it's still alive, and it focuses more on uh, nursing and health care now. And, and some kids from Nantucket have gone on to Regis, which I like. Um, but it was a great school for someone who grew up in Nantucket in a small community to not be in the city. When did you decide that you were going to live on Nantucket? Hmm. Well, I grew up here, and after I went to college, I came back for one year, as many people often do to try to save some money. <laughs> um, I got married and moved to Boston, and I worked in Boston at St. Elizabeth's Hospital for three years. And then a job opportunity came up in Nantucket. I... Wasn't ready to come back, but my husband wanted to come back, so we did. I went to work at the hospital, and he came back and worked at the old North Shore. So we came back, and I think probably six months into being back, I was really happy that we had moved back. What was your first job on Nantucket after college? I worked, well, I worked at the boarding house restaurant, which at that point in time was owned by Jimmy Perlman, the sheriff, now. Um, and I did the books in the morning, and I tended bar at night. We had jazz upstairs where the Pearl is now at night. After the restaurant closed, we kind of cleared the tables out, and we had two musicians, and it was just a place people went for, um, for a drink after dinner. And it was really fun. And Jimmy Perlman was a great boss. <laughs> what led you to your current job? Hmm. Well, I worked at the hospital for a few years. And I loved that job, but I really wanted more intimate so, or more social interaction because I didn't have much there. Um, my husband at that point was running the soda fountain at Congdon's Pharmacy, no longer in existence, but he was there. Um, 
So I got done at the hospital and I went to work the soda fountain at Congdon's Pharmacy, which I loved. And we did it for 12 years. Um, and during that time, I had my daughter and she was about in fourth or fifth grade. And I said, you know, it's every day of the year. And I'm ready to step back and not work every day of the year. So when my daughter got to be in fifth grade, we gave up the soda fountain lease and just because I wanted to spend a little more time with her. Do you like to go to the beach? I like to go to the beach. When I go to the beach, it's usually late at night, and we usually stop at a sandwich place and get a sandwich and go to the beach. We go to something natural. We drive out to, you know, every Nantucket person, I think, has their own name for their beaches. So we go to Mr. Rogers Beach and watch the sunset a lot, um, have a sandwich. Um, so I do go, I, I go to the beach, but usually for dinner. I know you're a trustee at the Coffin School. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, the Coffin School, which is the brick building on Winter Street, you know, was founded as a school for the descendants of Admiral Coffin initially. And it taught seafaring trade to young boys. They had a training ship. Um, as time evolved on Nantucket, they didn't need the Coffin School anymore. And, it, and actually, it stopped functioning as a school for quite some time. It reopened and aided the public schools, like in the 40s and the 50s, and even up until the early 60s as a trade school for mostly young men who were getting into carpentry, electricians. It taught them the trades. So if you were going to be a tradesman on Nantucket, you usually went to the Coffin School instead of the high school. When the new high school, this building, that building over there was built, um, they didn't need the Coffin School anymore. So it became the kindergarten place for a while. And now the trustees of the Coffin School don't run a school. Community Sailing is, has their offices there. And we rent out another office space. Um, we just got done with a big renovation project. We have a new roof. We have new pillars. The front's been fixed. It's a beautiful building. But what we do is we support children's educational activities on Nantucket. And we provide for scholarships for, for Nantucket youth going to college and grad school. Do you do any other volunteer work in the community? Well, I do work on the High School Musical every year. One of my favorite things, it's in March. There's not a lot to do. Um, I like to help backstage. I help with ironing. I help with the costumings. You know, I usually am backstage during the productions just to have someone back there to help people do quick clothing changes or whatever. Um, and that's like one of my favorite things to do in the winter. What advice would you give to someone my age growing up on Nantucket? Well, study hard. Learn as much as you can. I'm, I'm very impressed with the students of Nantucket, of the middle school and the high school and the elementary school, at how smart they are. There's so much available, and there's so much to learn. Learn a lot. Move off island for at least a period of time. But whatever you choose to do, make sure it makes you happy. What do you see as some of the challenges on Nantucket in the future? Hmm. Well, Nantucket, I mean, I love Nantucket now. It's so much more diverse. The around population is bigger. I don't know how much bigger. It's hard to tell how much bigger it is. Um, so, of course, housing is an issue. It's, it's always an issue. When I was younger, my parents used to rent a house out of town, and we would rent our in-town house. To summer people for the summer. <laughs> but I think housing is a huge issue. And I think the lack of local trades people, you know, rears its head that we have so many, Im so much imported labor that we have to somehow find the balance. How do you think Nantucket has changed over the years from your childhood to now? Well, here's, here's a funny part of when I was growing up. When I was younger, like, eight, say, age 6 to 12, on the last day of school, my parents took our bikes away. And we weren't allowed to have our bikes back until Labor Day, and the reason was is there was too much traffic. 
I mean, it's kind of funny to think that 50 years ago there was too much traffic downtown. But, you know, more people lived in town. I think if we lived out of town, we probably would have been able to keep our bikes. But um, that was that was a big deal. Well, there's certainly more sprawl and less open space. I mean, the conser the Conservation Foundation, they've all done a great job in keeping open space, and there's always somewhere you can go. Um, it's busier. It's fancier. What's your favorite season? Hmm. I think always the one that's coming up, you know? I love winter when it happens. I love the summer. I love all of the people, as long as it's not a rainy summer. The visitors are always happy. They love coming here. It's beautiful. They love the beaches. They love to be downtown. It's yeah. So I love the summer. But, you know, you're ready for fall when it happens. You're ready for spring when it happens, you know. <laughs> so no favorite season. Favorite month, mm, maybe January or February. <laughs> Who has influenced you the most? Hmm. Probably... Probably my sisters. You know, we've all done different things. We all get together a lot. We spend a lot of time together. But we all do different things, and they, we all have advice for each other. Whether we follow it or not, it's... What is your favorite spot on Nantucket? Mm. My, my, my global favorite spot would be downtown. It's a beautiful downtown. We probably have the most beautiful Main Street. Um, and I love the library. I love being home. <laughs> Are there any final thoughts you would like to share that I haven't asked? Well, I, I love this project. It's been really fun to look at the previous projects and the previous participants talking about their time on Nantucket. And I think that, you know, the seventh graders are stepping up and doing something fun and different and something that will be treasured for years. So I'm grateful for that. Well, thank you for your time today. Ella, thank you. It's been wonderful. Said so, like Joanne was kind of talking about she loved well, as a kid, she loved to hang out in town and I can relate to that. Like I like hanging out in town too. But she said town's a lot different. It's changed a lot. She used to go to the pharmacy and hang out there and I do that sometimes too. So it's kind of funny that we can relate even though it's a long time ago.